Next question is from James Horton, 83. What are the benefits of training first thing in the morning compared to afternoon and evening? All right, so so we can talk about the physiological benefits, but really the big difference between these times- Consistency. Is, it, well, it's, just psycho it's psychological, which consistency falls right, right under. So uh, I'll tell you what, generally speaking, okay? And again, this is I'm talking to the average person or to, to, to most people. In the morning, here's what you'll notice if you work out in the morning. Your workout performance will be not as good. That's a fact. I'm, I'm not going to be as strong. I'm not going to perform as well if I work out at 7 a.m. versus if I work out you know, in the afternoon, mm -hmm. bottom line. However, if I work out in the morning, people who do this are less likely to miss workouts. Why? Because it's the first thing of my day. So there's less opportunities for shit to get in the way of me doing my workout. So I'm way more consistent. This is the primary reason why I work out first thing in the morning. I have kids. We have a business. I got all kinds of stuff going on. And I know if I do it in the afternoon, there's a lot of opportunities for things to get in the way for me to miss my workout. But if I do it first thing in the morning, far less opportunities for me to miss it. So that's the main reason. And here's the second one. This is a great psychological benefit to working out in the morning. When I work out in the morning, man, I am ready for my day. I come in here, I podcast better. I'm sharper. I feel energized. So the rest of my day tends to benefit. Now, later in the day workouts, better performance. No, I mean, no doubt about it. I'm way stronger. I'm 10% at least stronger working out in the afternoon. I get better pumps in the afternoon. It just, it feels better. Does that translate to more muscle, less body fat? I think because of the consistency of the morning workouts in comparison to the effectiveness of the afternoon workouts, it's a wash, to be quite honest, because I miss no workouts when I work out first thing in the morning. So that's about it. Now, if you're... Somebody, if I'm training you, and now here's where we get some, like where it starts to become more, more, you know, more variance. If I'm working with you and you're my client and sleep is an issue for you, I'm not going to have you work out first thing in the morning uh, because I don't think it's smart to trade sleep for exercise. If you have hormone issues, I'm not going to have you work out in the morning. So if you're a woman and you're going to hire me and your, your HPA axis dysfunction, I'm not going to have you work out in the morning. I'm going to have you have a nice relaxing morning and I might have you work out in the afternoon. Um, so those are just some examples, but I think the big difference really is about the, the psychological aspect. Yeah, I would, the, the biggest physical detriment I would say to working out in the morning is simply that is interrupting your sleep, right? Yeah. If you are, you find that that's the best time for you to work out because you have the most time available then, but that also cuts into your eight hours of sleep and now you're getting six or five or whatever, and you're exhausted and you just push through it, mm -hmm. right? Because you can push through it and then feel good afterwards. And don't mistake that, by the way, of feeling good because that's just your body trying to respond to what you just put it through. So mm -hmm. that's the mistake I think some people get is like, whoa, when I get done, I feel really good. I mean, I feel horrible getting there and this and that, and then I do it and then <laughs> yeah. I feel amazing. Like stress people. hormone high. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's just your cortisol shooting through the roof and you feel if you feel amazing. And don't don't mistake that for your body is is loving that or liking that. So I think that you know, that's the biggest thing you got to look at, look at if you're going to be training in the morning time. Um, but yeah, it, and I, I know we keep hammering the consistent consistency thing down, but you have to understand that how much that plays a factor in your success. It's the number one factor number one. of all things, yeah. diet and training program and all these things that we want to talk about, exercise selection, routine, blah, 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 blah. Nothing trumps consistency you consistently doing something is far better than nothing at all so whatever one of these things it were morning or afternoon yeah. you can be the most consistent is that's the answer yeah, to however us. you find that in your schedule where you can just map that out knowing specifically i'm gonna do this at this specific time a lot of people do find it's the first thing in the morning because it is uh that very first ob objective that you're you know placing yourself in like this is what i my intention of the day starts here and, you know, that does have a lot of benefit to it because now the rest of my day, like I do get a, a quite a bit of a mood elevating effect from that too, yeah. like working out in the morning, which I like, but I don't like that I can't, <laughs> I can't train at the intensity I can in the middle of the day, yeah. which is really where I do feel a lot more of a performance boost. So I, I kind of weave back and forth uh, with the two options based on if my consistency has fell, I'll go back to mornings and try and go, you know, first thing. Uh, but then if I have an opportunity in the day, I'm going to take it because I want to see what my body has been able to do. Now, as far as the performance is concerned, yes, it's true. Studies will show you'll perform not as great early in the morning as you will maybe later in the afternoon. However, body will adapt. yeah, you do, you do, you do get better at it. So yeah, I, I will say I still perform better in the afternoon, 
but I don't perform as badly in the morning as I did as I used to when yeah. I first started doing it. Now my performance in the morning's not too bad. What my would you say it takes? To, I know it's very individual, but what would you say it takes the average person to kind of acclimate to that? Months. Like, yeah. Oh, months, months, oh, months. Yeah, so. five, four, like five, three, six oh, months. Okay. Oh, wow, that long. It takes a while, dude, dude, bro. Waking up in the morning. First off, you have to wake up earlier than you used to, mm -hmm. and then being physical and pushing yourself. To somebody who's never done that before, it takes it takes a little while. Yeah, and I think the key, I mean, and you're the more consistent one with this, correct me if I'm wrong, is that when you transition and you're and it's tough and it's going to be probably tough and tired, is disciplining yourself to go to bed earlier. Because I, I would see yes. that would be the probably the biggest challenge for people. For me, that would be the biggest you're challenge. You're right. right? Yeah. I've, I've allowed myself to stay up to 11 or midnight almost every single night, but... If you're getting up at five o'clock in the morning, right. going to bed at midnight is a terrible habit to have. Yeah, you're one hundred percent right. You you have to prioritize that that evening as well. But I, I look, I noticed this as an as a young gym manager before I had kids, before I had all the responsibility I have, when I was literally living and working in the gym all day, so I could literally work out kind of whenever I wanted, which and so I did. I'd work out at like 1 or 2 p.m. That's what I did for years, by the way. 1 or 2 p.m. was my workout time. It was a slow time in the gym. It also worked out great because, like I said, it's early afternoon. But here's what I noticed. When I would manage gyms, if I came in the morning at 6 a.m., which I routinely would do. I would routinely get in there early so I could get there before my staff set up or whatever. It was always the same people in the gym. The most consistent members that you'll see in a gym mm -hmm. are the morning crowd. Always. The same exact crowd. They're in there. They're hardcore. They know each other. They all work out very consistently. The evening crowd, boy, does that fluctuate like crazy. But it was that, I swear to God, I would come in at 6 a.m. and I knew I was going to see the same 30 to 50 people, you know, working out in my gym. So, and that's when I really picked up on it. Like, oh, it's the morning, mornings are, are, that's great for consistency.